Okay. I forgot my camera today, but I went back to the river and I just concentrated on the holes I've already dug. I got right down into the bedrock and just scrape, 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 scrape. And this is the first pan I've cleaned out. There's two massive chunks. Might be the two biggest chunks I found in the very first pan, so it's looking good. So I'll do a few more and show you then. Just finished my um, last pan from today. I wish I could see whether or not this is showing up. Best pan ever. There's like six specks in there. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Just got to work that bedrock. I'll go back out tomorrow and do the same thing. Wrapped. And that's the um, final cleanup from today. The most by far wrapped. Now, back at the river today. Um, I tried a new spot yesterday and didn't find anything, so I've come back to my favourite spot. You can see this, this rock that runs down into the river. All I'm going to do is dig right down. I've gone pretty deep in through here, but I'm going to come back because it bucks out in a bit of a corner, so hopefully it creates a bit of a vortex here when it floods. And I'm just going to totally concentrate on this hole, I'm going to go as deep as I can and see. Um, what we pull up. Just doing a clean out from that big deep hole I dug today. It's my first chunk. It's always chunky but there's needs to be more of it. Well, let's see how we go. Yeah, the beauty of um, gold panning is we had a long weekend here this weekend so I went to all three days. I found just about everything on the first day. I think I found one speck yesterday, and I found two specks today. Like, it wasn't too bad because we've had a, this is the eighth day above 30 degrees here. Which is the hottest on record. So I didn't mind spending a bit of time in the rivers, but I worked my ass off yesterday and today for three specks. All the rest I found on Saturday. And I was lucky enough to lose my toenail yesterday on the back of my gum boot I lifted it up and had to pull it off with some pliers it was bloody horrible so I wish I had a pan full of gold well oh, and all like I'm pretty happy with that need some um, better equipment I wish I could um, pay for it with gold <laughs> but it's not turning out that way I think another three hot days coming up, so I'll get out there again, but it might be time for a, a new spot. The um, the problem I've got is, when I found the good gold on Friday, I did it from three different spots, so I don't know which one had the better gold, but you learn. Let's see how we go tomorrow. Alright, we... Um, we're at a new creek today, again in West Gippsland, it'll be, um, it looks good, looks like I can do a bit of crevicing here, yeah, you like it bro? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of rocks, little gravel traps, and some water, uh, maybe someone's already been here, who knows, no. alright we'll have a go and see how we go, just thought I'd show you, um, it's all full of quartz. I've never seen so much quartz. I've only done two shovels. I know, Dad. And it's all, well, that's 90% quartz. It's amazing. So, it'll be interesting mm -hmm. to see if there's any gold in there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I just finished up digging down there. Alright, I just finished up. I just dug a little hole today because I just wanted to see if there's gold in this creek. Well, there, was, there used to be gold in this creek. And I can't show you because it's stuck in there. I don't have any um, dishwasher detergent to stop it floating. But there's three little specks. Just in, I, I, I really did bugger all. So I'd hate to think what's, what else is in here. I reckon this might be a real go with this one. It's not too far from home, a little bit further than the other one. There's a big hole there. And a bit of... You can see the quartz over there. So I don't know, but I reckon someone's had a high banker in here or something. But we'll come back and have a proper go. 
when the parrot hello parrot when he's not here so we can do it properly you're the parrot mate <laughs> yeah so fingers crossed have a look at this it's ridiculous what are you doing boots 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 look here Well done. Push. <laughs> Have a look at this. And if you think he's desperate for a drink, this way, aren't we? There's the bucket of water there for the bucket of the cat. Just for some reason, he wants to show off. Oh, I um, this is the creek I was in the other day. But I've calmed down a bit further. And I'm pretty, pretty excited by the layout. Spent today digging out this big hole here, and just at the, there's a little waterfall there. You can see me shovel. Been digging out the base of that as well. It's um, there's lots of quartz. So many spots here to dig. That's a um. That big bend there. It'd be nice over the back there. So we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed. Uh, all done for today. I moved a couple of those massive rocks. And then that one there. This one here I moved and we'll dug all that out. So all uh, I ran three full buckets of concentrate through my sluice. And then about halfway through it pissed down, it's still raining. So we've gone from record heat to freezing. Came underprepared as usual. I'm pretty glad to be going home. Also dug out, um, just walked down here without, whoa, without dying. Also dug that out there, there's another two buckets out of them. And the um so much quartz. And actually you can see there, you know, there's another bit here somewhere. Where this rock, you know, has got the quartz vein running through it. They crushed a lot of quartz here in the 1800s. So I'll be interested to see what we pull out of here. Well, it looks good. Get down in there later on, but I love it. This is a good river. Let's just hope when I get home, there's plenty of gold in it. All right, I'm gonna go home and get warm. Just show you, you can see it there. Quartz running through the um, the rock. A few other spots too. Another good example. Let's see it. Straight through there, the line. Crazy. And I'm back home. I'm in the bath. One of the advantages of being single. You can do stupid things in your bathroom when it's raining outside. So the first pan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven specks. This is from that new spot. Pretty happy with that. So we go on the next one. Cat's back again. He's become obsessed with um, pan it out. Last three times I've done it, just hangs out, plays in the border. Boots. What you doing? One gold eye. <laughs> Boots. Uh, I've all finished. There's, there's four specs in this one. Two in there. Two in there. It's probably average five per pan. So maybe 20 specs for the day. But tomorrow it'll be good because I've got rid of all the top stuff. I can get right down underneath those rocks. Let's see how we go. I'm going to try a bit of slack water as well instead of where the water is running a bit faster. Not a bad day. <laughs> 